Good day people this is Mohit uh, once again and uh, this time I'll teach you how to make a circular preloader right guys so let's start we're not going to start uh, our project by clicking on action script 3 or 2 instead I'm going to click on sample files under create from template so we're going to use something which is uh, ready-made that a flash professional CS5 gives us Thereafter, uh, I select the second last option which is uh, preloader for SWF Swift and I say OK. Please don't make the mistake of selecting the third, la op uh, third last option which is preloader for external file. I say OK. Alright guys, so as I said, uh, this is something uh, ready that uh, flash gives us and we're gonna tweak that we're gonna make certain changes and uh, make a circular preloader now before I actually start making one now let's see what flash gives us let me move on to the second frame uh, by uh, you know shifting the playhead from the first to the second frame on the second frame here it says large content goes here so let's bring in some large content I delete this by pressing the delete key I say import import to stage and I pull up a picture mm, this one is good okay let's adjust the size 550 by 400 so that's uh, aligning itself to the stage okay let's get back to uh, frame number one let's hit uh, control enter on the keyboard and see uh, what do we have nothing happens that's uh, because I have not simulated the download and I do that by clicking here okay so I get a pulsating uh, loading uh, text and an incrementing percent text and as soon as it uh, reaches 100 the image on frame number 2 shows up as we'll see in a few seconds bam there goes but as I said I want to make some changes to it and have my own preloader so the first thing I'll do is I'll get rid of uh, this loading pulsating sign and also this background layer all I need to do is just click on that uh, bin here at the bottom that takes care of it and the third thing uh, that I need to do is uh, I need to change the color of the stage once I do that I need to make sure that the color of the text is black and not white as shown here I'll make it black okay then uh, as I said I need to make a circular preloader let's uh, get on with it then let's hit the uh, oval tool make a circle pressing the shift key that'll make a perfect circle and that should be fine next I will pull the fill out and get rid of the outline delete key cool thereafter I'll say control C control V I just copied uh, the uh, circle okay guys then I'll reduce the size of the second circle just that wee bit alright thereafter I pull the second circle inside the first circle so that it kind of aligns in the center okay guys then I select the outer circle give it a linear gradient okay and pull the inner circle out delete the inner circle so what do I have on the stage right now it's a um, it's a kind of a thick outlined circle okay let me change the stage color that'll give us a better idea of what I've just drawn it's, it's actually too big for a preloader so I'll reduce the size uh, 
this looks good enough to me okay and I'll just pull it over the percent text dynamic text field okay thereafter I'll uh, select this uh, so a ring kind of a structure go into the actions go inside code snippets and select under animations folder rotate continuously double click on rotate continuously it says uh, that the uh, selection must be converted into a movie clip in order to apply code snippets now code snippets are ready-made codes flash will convert and create an instance name for you before applying the code snippets naturally I'll say OK so guys uh, what happened here was flash converted that ring into a movie clip gave it a name movie clip underscore one added an event listener and what that does is it rotates that ring continuously as long as the uh, preloader is running from 1% to 100% it just goes on rotating continuously okay these are the comments and I really don't need them so I'm gonna get rid of them by pressing the delete key now here right on top is the action script for uh, the preloader I don't need to disturb that let me show you how how I get that script this is the actions layer and this is the content layer on the actions layer I right click on the first frame select actions left click and this is the code the highlighted code is for the preloader down here below is the code action script 3 code responsible for uh, rotating the ring continuously so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit control enter to test the movie then since I could not get um, a preview I need to simulate the download so guys as you can see the uh, circular preloader goes round and round and round until uh, the figure reaches 100% uh, and then it shows the uh, the image so guys uh, I hope you like this small little trick just uh, need to point uh, something out here I'll open up the actions panel once again here it says the last line uh, of the uh, action script 3 responsible for the preloader says that uh, once uh, the bytes of the timeline load completely go to and stop on frame number two this uh, may be ideal in uh, this example but not in all examples there may be cases where the timeline is much much uh, longer more than two frames and it extends beyond two frames uh, what will happen here is it will go and stop on frame number two not go beyond that won't be uh, ideal in which case you need to change this one single statement to play parent parent semicolon the the play function okay and let's say you have a hundred frames uh, you need to stop the timeline on uh, the hundredth frame by using the stop function so that it does not enter the uh, the preloader script once again should not loop back so you need to have a stop function in the end if you have uh, more than uh, two frames that'll be stop small s parent parent parenthesis parenthesis semicolon okay guys so uh, if you have any questions uh, you can go to my website which is uh, adobe cs5 dot in info india and uh, you can call me uh, from my website I have, a, I have a button a call button which will initiate a call between you and me using skype or else you can have a live, ch a live chat with me. I've used a Mebo chat client. And I'll try to uh, answer your questions, your queries, if I'm online. So subject to availability and my talent, I'll try to help you. Okay, guys, see you next time with yet another tutorial on Adobe Flash CS5. Bye-bye.